All right, this is the Kyle Davis vlog number five. And uh, I'll start this episode with a quick correction. Uh, I, I think I previously had in, I said in my uh, blog number three that PCW was kicked off the air uh, in 2003. It was actually 2004, uh, May of 2004, uh, after the uh, first half, first part of Capital Punishment. Uh, back then, <clears throat> the big shows were split up into two, two episodes, uh, part one and part two. Uh, part one usually ended with a, a main event match and then the second part, but it was all taped on, uh, it was all pa taped on one week. Uh, so it was kicked off in May of 2004 after Capital Punishment Part 1. Uh, this, uh, this episode I'm going to focus a little bit more on uh, interacting uh, in the ring with uh, some of the wrestlers during the show. Um, one of my first... One of the first big things I did was uh, around 2003... Uh, Mike Fox was turning heel, uh, Chris Stevens was turning face, they were doing a double turn, and, uh, I think it was after, after a dog collar match, and, and they, and they double turned, uh, on, in this match, I think, and, uh, we were separating them in the ring, and, uh, I remember, uh, Chris Stevens grabbed me by the head and, uh, clocked me right in the forehead, uh, and, uh, uh, and so I, I got to bump on the ground and, and roll out of the ring, and uh, and that was really exciting for me. That I think that was the first time that I uh, that I was physically uh, like um, taken out during a, a, an event staff pull apart or whatever. And that was on UPN uh, that match. And so I remember the, the next weekend, uh, I was so excited because I was going to be able to watch. Uh, I was going to watch uh, Chris Stevens, you know, bash me right in the face on UPN. It's going to be great. I'm going to tell my friends about it. It'll be awesome. Uh, as it turns out, uh, they stopped filming, or the, the show cut off uh, as we were getting in the ring. So none of that was shown on TV. So I was pretty bummed about that. Uh, Chris Stevens, another uh, guy. He was. He was someone that I, I, I really liked a lot. Uh, he reminded me of a lot of Shane Douglas, who I was a big fan of. Uh, the tassels and the gear, and and Chris Stevens looked like a he looked like a wrestler. He looked like he belonged in the ring. So I, I really enjoyed his work. As far as I know, he's uh, working in GCW in in Georgia, or he was anyway. Uh, I've seen some of his stuff out there. Uh, he left at the end of 2003, and I think he came back for one uh, show in 2004, and that was and that was really it. He he was he was really good. I, I liked him. Uh, another Chris Stevens story. Uh, him and Eddie Atlas were having a, a feud at the time, and um, they were. It was I think it was during a. I want to say it was during Fight Went Survive. I'm not sure. I was checking on somebody at ringside, and one of the event staff guys was like, uh, one of the main event staff guys was like, hey, go check on uh, Eddie and, uh, and and Chris in the parking lot. And I'm like, how the hell did you know they were in the parking lot, and what are they doing? So I go out there, and they're all over each other, like they're going to kill each other in the parking lot. And there, were, there weren't that many fans around. There was a little, but not many, but it was... The, 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 that was the first time where I thought things were going to get really bad really quick. And that stuck out to me big time. And then the very next week, before the show, they're talking on the entrance ramp. And I remember going up to them and I'm like, so, uh, how, what happened last week? You guys okay now? Which was really out of character for me to go up and talk to wrestlers about stuff like that. But, uh... I, to this day, I'm not 100% sure if it were a work or a shoot, but I guess that was the that was the idea. So that they <laughs> they got they got me, and 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 so I looking back, I guess the reason he asked me to go check outside on them was because he knew that it was going to happen. So looking back now, seven years later, it, it all makes sense. Um. So yeah, PCW was kicked off the air in 2004, but Uncut did start in 2003. And uh, 
late 03, early 04 was uh, Paul Lewis and the Tribe, uh, and they were, uh, that was Khan, Chris Richter, uh, Seshai, Pendragon, uh, I like those guys, I like all those guys a lot, Khan, uh, I got to talk to a lot, and Marshall and FEW, and he, he was really, really nice, I like Khan a lot, out, out of all of them, but they, they were all great, but I like Khan especially, and, uh, I remember getting in the ring and they were beating down somebody and uh, and we were told beforehand that they were going to beat the crap out of us too, which I was excited about. I, I was I was loving that idea. So I get in the ring and uh, Seshai uh, clotheslines me as hard as he can uh, and so that hurt. That was awesome. And then I get, I think they pick me up and Khan headbutts me and, and so that was cool. That was that was uh, at the end of an uncut show. That was probably one of the last shows as event staff I did on uncut. That was in I want to say the spring of '04. If any of you uncut nerds out there can help me, but they were still going. I mean, it was before it was before they had Gigolo in the tribe as as Dark Dragon. It was before that, uh, and Seth was still there because Seth he left later on. So that 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 was fun. Um. And then, after I did event staff, I moved up pr to production. And when I say moved up pr production, I really didn't do anything. I never ran music on my own. Uh, uh, for for those of you who don't know, the production area was upstairs, uh, and you had a wide view of the whole arena. It was really the best seat in the house. And uh, I would help with music, but I never did it on my own. Uh, I would do spotlight or whatever, run the radio. Uh, to the back to make sure all the cues were good, but I never, uh, I never, I never did music on my own, and, and that's what made PCW special is that the backstage area and the production area were in two totally different areas, and they had to communicate by radio, so everybody had to be spot on, and I love that, and I wish we had more of that. Now it's production and backstage is kind of mixed together, and I, I think it kind of takes it away a little bit. Uh, there's really not much to talk about with doing production that I can think of right now. I I was only there for a few months, and I, I just I didn't want to do event staff anymore, but I was trying to get my foot in the door. So before one of the shows, I talked to Goo, who was booking a PCW Uncut at the time, and he was a trainer at uh, at the academy during the week. And I was like, hey man, can I just can I have uh, you know can I just let me announce a match, you know, for fun, you know, just to see how it goes, just. Maybe if someone doesn't show up or someone wants to take a break for a match, just let me you know, have a match. And at the time on Uncut, they were doing live over the uh, over the speaker announcing, which I hated. I hate the idea of announcers talking during the matches over the loudspeakers. Just it's it's never good. It's it doesn't it just doesn't make sense. Oh hey, the guy has a chair. Look at him. Oh, the referee can't hear me, but I'm talking to everybody. It just I didn't like it. So. Um, so I did live commentary uh, over the intercom. Uh, his name was Stu. Very nice guy. I, I never heard from him after 2005, but he was he was really nice. So I commentated with him a few times, and then they just let me take over from there. And I commentated with Antonio, Terry Stevens, uh, even Wally and Lamada as guest commentators. Uh, and, and at that time, it was still on the stage uh, before they moved it down to ringside. And eventually they got rid of commentary over the speakers, and so they moved me to the other side of the stage, which is where Code sat, and uh, and so I was his uh, bell ringer or timekeeper or whatever, which was awesome. They still kept me on to do that, and uh, eventually I uh, we became like co-announcers, like we would take turns announcing, which I I was I loved. I loved being able to get in the ring with Code. Uh, I pretty much was a bad guy uh, at the beginning, so that's where I'll pick up next time, is uh, starting to announce on Uncut with Code and how that all turned out. Uh, I had a lot of fun at the beginning, but uh, after a while I was looking to do something else. But uh, that's where we'll pick up next time, uh, at the end of 04 and going into 2005, uh, with PCW Uncut, starring Commander Code and Kyle Davis. <laughs>